Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A little rougher than it was yesterday morning here. See, we got a few waves breaking on shore here. A little warmer than yesterday, too. 72 degrees right now. Expecting a high again today up in the mid 80s. Probably gonna get some rain later on this afternoon. Water temperature still holding right around 83 degrees. Gorgeous out here. High tides at nine o'clock this morning, about quarter after nine. Still free of red tide, no red tide here at Del Norwegian. bit of a breeze blowing out here this morning. You look up here in the pine tree, you see an osprey perched out there up in the top center, top center of the screen. I'm going to try to come around to the other side and get a better view of it. We got a a lot of little snowy egrets. There's one right here in front of me and there's a bunch of them just down the beach. Let's see, you still have some of those colors of sunrise out there in the Gulf. Here's our osprey perched up here. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. Just sitting up there, looking out in the water, waiting for a fish to swim by. only hold it for so long there. <laughs> Beautiful out here though. Absolutely gorgeous. Seen quite a few pelicans already flying by. I'm sure there'll be another flock of them coming by here any minute now. Every morning they just seem to fly from the north up here down to the south.
We did not see any dolphins yesterday. I'm sure they were out here at some point. Isn't that sky beautiful. Oh, I believe I see some pelicans. If they're headed down this way. Really far out in the water. Let's see if I can get a closer view. Closer view of them. You see them out there? They're right just above the water right now. There they go. They're pretty far out. Making their way down to the south. Hard to follow them when they're down on the water. I've actually lost them now out on the horizon. Huh. Oh, they landed out there. That's what happened. They're way offshore. Way offshore. Take a little walk down here and check on our little snowy egrets. See how they're doing. And then turn around and walk up the beach, maybe. Maybe these waves brought in some interesting shells or something. Never know what we're going to find out here in the mornings. The little snowies just took off. Absolutely gorgeous, though, as we look down to the south there. Sun just starting to come up. Closer. There we go. There's our morning pelican pick. I love watching those guys. There's another group of them coming by. Brown pelicans. They seem to come by for about oh, about at least an hour periodically around this time. Let's see if our osprey is still up there. Oh, it just dove in the water. And, darn it. Sorry. It just dove in the water. I don't know if it got a fish. Right out there. Yep, it got a little fish. So it's gonna perch up on back up on the branch there and eat its little fish. Not a very big fish. Go around the other side. Let's see what it caught. Right down at me. See if get back over here and I'll zoom in and see if we can see what it's eating. It wasn't a very big fish. 
There, you can see it right there. Very cool. Having breakfast with us. What a great shot, huh? That was beautiful. Got a good look at the Osprey with its wings stretched out there. It's still kind of dark here. Very cool. Well, we always see something interesting. That's for sure. Oh, look at this. Look at all the pelicans. Wow. Wow. Look at them all. There's more. Look at them all. It's incredible. I love watching the pelicans out here. More flying by. Like I said, they just keep coming. For about an hour, they'll be flying by. Here comes some more. Now ah, these guys, they landed in the water. They took a break down here. Just amazing. It's so nice seeing the birds. I mean, little things like that. Pelicans flying by. We take it for granted, but a month ago, we didn't see one pelican out here because of the red tide. We didn't see any birds out here because of the red tide for months. Now the birds are returning. And it's just it's a wonderful sight to see them. Because one of the things when we see the pelicans, we definitely know there's fish out there in the water. There comes more of them. There's another group flying by. A lot of old timers here in Naples refer to the pelicans as the Naples Air Force. Head up, head up to uh, area four here. I'm down in area three right now. Oh, there went our osprey right there, just flew by me. Must have finished its little, off its little fish already. It's moving further up the beach. Just landed in that tree right up there. I don't know if I'm going to find any shells this morning or not. Later on, as the tide goes out, high tides at 9, as the tide starts going back out, these waves might leave some nice little presents on the beach for us. Oh, more pelicans. Actually, they're not... They're all landing up there 
Must be a school of fish up there. See them sitting in the water? See them all sitting out there? Must be a big school of fish out there. That's Fort Myers Beach in the background. Some over here. It's amazing how they just hover above the water like that. It's amazing to watch these fly. What's really fun to watch is watching the pelicans dive into the water, catching the fish. That is quite a sight. Nice little scallop shell down there. Whoops, how'd that light get turned on? Hang on a second. Is my camera light on? Not now. Somehow the camera light popped on. Beautiful little scallop. What else do we have down here? That's some little kitten's paws for sure. Where did I see some of those? Little kitten's paw. Hey, tide's still coming in. There's a little kitten's paw shell. I want to get up a little further here and check out these pelicans. Hopefully they won't take off. Maybe we'll see a dolphin come by. I don't know. It's a little rough out here. Pelicans are all taking off on me, darn it. You can hear that osprey calling out, sitting up on the top of the tree now. Not as much beach here now this morning. That tide starts to roll in. There's that osprey that we saw earlier. It's perched right up there at the end of that branch. the same osprey we saw eating that fish a few minutes ago.
Beautiful colors as the sun's rising here. The sun's rising right over here. It's coming up between these trees here. Osprey's, the osprey's still perched up there, right up the top of that tree right there on that branch. That little dot, that's the osprey up there. Some little sandpipers in front of me here. Another group of pelicans flying by. Like clockwork, they just keep coming by. Here comes some more. comes another group of pelicans. It's amazing where they all come from. Now, if you look on the website for the park, for Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, the official park hours are from 8 a.m. until sunset, but they do tend to open the gates a little earlier. They open the gates at 7.30. However, you can buy a pass, which gets you in an annual pass, which gives you 24-hour access to the park. Wow, here's a nice little pile of shells. It's a little fighting conch. A little fighting conch shell. Florida fighting conch is what they're officially called, the Florida fighting conch. What else? See if we find something else buried in this mass here before the waves wash them out. Lots of clam shells down there. A lot of clam shells. A few cockle shells in there. Mostly all clam shells. Worm tip, some oyster shells. This piece of a turkey wing over there, piece of a turkey wing shell. Now 
Another fighting conch shell right there. piece of worm rock over here. A little piece of worm rock. Hmm. No little moon shells or whelks or anything. No murex. Some pieces of coral. I thought for sure I'd find something to stick in my pocket. Several nice little fighting conks though. This one's got some nice colors on it. Quite a few fighting conks on the beach here this morning. Boy. Low tide might be interesting here. This wave action seems to be stirring up all the shells. More, two more little fighting conks down here. You can see how they vary. In their patterns. Beautiful shells. I always say these are probably the most collected seashells on the beaches of Southwest Florida. They're just so pretty and they're pretty common. Just always make sure there's no living animal inside any shell you take home. There's a turkey wing. Yep, there's a turkey wing. Nice little turkey wing shell. Nice one there. It's, it's turkey month already, November. Uh, time sure did fly this year. This year went by really fast. It was an interesting year. Gorgeous little shells here. You never know. That's kind of interesting looking, isn't it?
all these shells that are up along the beach here, they've been here for quite a while. Quite a while, they've been well picked through. Beautiful morning. Happy Wednesday, or happy Friday, everybody. TGIF, huh? TGIF. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Just about up to Roy's Beach here. Hmm. Still hoping to find something. I hate going home empty with empty pockets. This looks like um, the trap door off of a maybe a whelk or something. The operculum is what they call it. It's the little flap that when a snail or a conch or a whelk goes into its shell, it closes this little flap behind it. Call it a trap door, it's a common name. A curriculum. Whether I go home with shells in my pocket or not, it really doesn't matter. Being able to come out here. That's the real beauty of it. Just being able to come out and walk on the beach in the morning. And share it with my friends on Facebook. Makes it even more special. Not a whole lot of beach here like there has been the past few mornings. Just because of the tide. It'll be at high tide here about 9.15. Remember just, oh, what, three days ago? I was out here. And there was a little island out here with all the birds sitting on it. The birds were up here on the beach, and then there was a little island, and they were all sitting out there on the island. Check out that video. That was pretty cool. Here's a piece of a, what would have been an absolutely gorgeous lightning well.
That would have been a really nice specimen if it wasn't all busted up. <laughs> Seen a lot of broken conch shells, worn old conch shells there. A few nice ones. Beautiful when the sunlight rakes across the beach here. It's just coming up over the trees here. We're in area four now. What I have officially named, renamed Roy's Beach. Area four is now gonna be called Roy's Beach. Murex shell over here. Yep, it's the top of an old Murex shell. Looks like it was probably an apple Murex at one time. Darn it. The story of my life broken shell. I can't complain. I do have my fair share of seashells. <laughs> Got some skimmers and turns sitting up here in front of me. Skimmer birds. Skimmers are really neat to watch. They just fly an inch above the water and they kind of dip their lower beak in the water. That's why they call them skimmers as they're flying along. It's absolutely really cool to watch. The black ones are the skimmers. Black with the orange beak, that's the skimmers right there. All skimmers. There's some seagulls in the background and some little sand, uh, sand dollars, sandpipers. Comes another turn, another skimmer flying in. Neat looking birds, the skimmers. Piece of an old crown conch here. Those crown conchs are so beautiful. I'd love to find a nice big one one day. There's a, looks like the top of a lightning whelk here. Absolutely 
beautiful out here. A little piece of paradise up in North Naples. Look at all these little shells down here in the water. Old lightning whelk right there. Another sliver of a crown pond, a little sliver of a crown pond. Seeing all of our little bird friends out here. Every once in a while I get lucky. All the way up here at this end of the beach, I'll find something interesting. But like I always say, you just never know. Every morning, every morning, something different here. Same beach, but so different every morning. All depends on the tides and the currents.
beach looks pretty darn clean here. Stripped clean of shells. Air whelk may be down there. Yep, an old pear whelk, piece of an old pear whelk. Well, I've reached the end of the road here. No beach left there this morning. You can still get up to Wiggins Pass from here to the north end of the park. You just got to take, there's a path up here in the trees that you take. Just a little rough here at high tide where the beach has been all washed away. A lot of seaweed up here too. See it all here? A lot of times some really beautiful shells get trapped in all this seaweed. I've had friends find some really nice shells just digging through the seaweed. Turn around and walk back down the beach and see. Oops, sorry about that. See what we missed. Little waves like this are always a nice change of pace over here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. It's usually pretty flat. Well, let's see a few people down to the south stooping over, doing some shelling. I'm not here by myself.
kind of a dull morning for collecting seashells, darn it. Although I kind of walked pretty fast along the beach here. It's all about taking your time when you're shelling or looking for shark's teeth. The slower you walk, the more you're gonna find. That's a fact. It's fun to walk the beach with a group of people too. You cover more space, more sets of eyes on the beach. down at Roy's Beach right now. Area four under the pines. Our good buddy Roy. Can't wait for him to be back out here with me. He's doing good, just, just gotta recover. Slow recovery. It'll be a while before he's back out here with us. Just keep him in your thoughts and prayers. He's doing well. But he is abiding by the doctor's orders of staying off the beach for now. No red tide, no red tide, good news. These waves have the water churned up pretty good, so it's kind of hard to see the bottom, it's cloudy. feathered friends again. The white birds in the back, those are terns. The darker birds in the front, those are skimmers. One of my favorite parts of the morning, seeing all these little birds up here.
so fun watching the birds fly in. All the little sandpipers over here on the right. See them hopping along, all the little ones over here. I always say they look like little mice running around on the beach. <laughs> So cool. Just a gorgeous morning though out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Some nice little waves. Hi, Justine. Find anything good this morning? Those are skimmers. The ones with those orange feet. Yeah, they're neat. Actually, they fly just above the water and they put their lower beak in the water. Oh, really? Oh, that's why they're called yeah. skimmers? Pretty wild to see them. There were tons of pelicans. Yeah, yeah, lots of pelicans. That's great seeing the pelicans. That means there's lots of fish out here. Yeah, there's so many earlier. Yeah. What did you find? Oh, nice. oh, I found a well. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I have so many of them now. Oh, nice whelk. Nice lightning whelk. Yeah. A little chipped up, but. Still got nice colors. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. I found a limpet. A limpet. A keyhole limpet. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know what those were called. A limpet. Yeah. Keyhole limpet. I think I saw that same one sitting on the beach. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I swear. And it a limpet. Actually, yeah, somebody, somebody when I found one the first time said they thought it was a barnacle, but it's not. And apparently, yeah, it, it looks like it a actually, barnacle. It actually moves. It can move around. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it lives under there and they move around. That's what my book said. Oh, neat. And then it. this, I have no idea what it is. But that's the only reason I'm keeping it because I can't tell what it is. So I want to go home and huh. try to figure it out. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It looked like it was attached to something. Yeah. Or it looks like something growing on it. Or... Oh, and I, I found a. A little shark, bit of a oh, shark's you found tooth. a shark's tooth this morning. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. 
Darn you. <laughs> <laughs> nice little shark's tooth. It's a little broken, but... I'll hey, it's them. still a shark's tooth. Yeah, I take them. I'll take any kind of shark's tooth yeah, at this point. so that's what I got. Neat. That's my find for today. Oh, very good. So you walk slower than me. Well, when I'm looking for shark's teeth, I have to walk really, oh, yeah. really slowly. Yep. So, but I figured yesterday I had such a hard time getting down to five, like I had to traverse the right. woods. Today, so I'll just walk slow. There you go. There you go, and it's paying off. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Bye bye. Uh oh. Come back here, all you little turns. They'll come back. Gorgeous out here. This is by far my favorite spot right here. I just love watching the birds here. This is area four. The Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Also now, known as Roy's Beach. I've officially renamed it Roy's Beach. I'm going to sign off here. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. I hope you have a wonderful Friday, wherever you might be. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. When you do, hit the like and share button. Remember, in a way, pays me to be out here. I want to make a little contribution. It's always appreciated. It helps keep the phone on. Absolutely gorgeous. Even though we didn't, I'm not going home with any shells in my pocket. We did have a beautiful walk this morning. Beautiful weather. We got to see an osprey and all these other beautiful birds, the terns and the gulls and the skimmers. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous out here. And the good news again, no red tide. No red tide, at least for right now, keeping our fingers crossed. Always saying our prayers, we don't want that red tide coming back. But no red tide as of right now in North Naples at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.